Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out Evidence versus Influence. Influence was on AppSumo and Evidence is right on AppSumo. So that means you're in the refund period for Influence and you're just starting to check out Evidence. So maybe you can refund if you don't like it and keep Evidence or just keep Influence. So let's just check them both out and see what you're going to get one with the other. So this is Evidence deal. Both are $49 bucks and but the deals are a bit different. Let's check out the plans before we actually head on over and check out the platform. So these are the plans right now for both of them. And one of the things you're going to notice, for example, in evidence is that you got 50,000 visits per month and you get three user accounts. Heads up, there's light evidence of branding. So that means it does have branding. In influence, 49 bucks gives you 50,000 unique visits per month and removable branding. Now, heads up. 50,000 visits and 50,000 unique visitors is not the same. What is unique visitors? So let's just say I log into a site 10 times. That's only going to count as one. So heads up. So that's not the same as evidence. All right. And in evidence, you got three user accounts. And on the influence, you don't. But you got the removable branding. So, I mean, there's give or take. All these are the same. There's just unlimited domains, unlimited notifications. That's just yada, yada, right? It's the same on the influence in that sense. Next code on the influence one gives you 100,000 unique visitors. You got replaceable branding. So that means it's not just removing the branding. You can replace it with your branding, okay? You got four teammates accounts. This time you have teammates account. And you got su six sub-user accounts. You got the sub-user account branding control also, and you got sub-user analytics, social broadcaster in this code. On the evidence part, you got 100,000 only visits. This time you got five user accounts, and you got the removable branding and six sub-user accounts. So now you get, you get six sub-user accounts, and in this case, you also get sub-user accounts. So like I said, it's give or take. In the third code, you got 150,000 visits per month, 10 user accounts, and you got replaceable branding, nine sub accounts, right? Same thing, but it gives a little bit more. On the on the other hand, you got the three codes. You get 50, 150,000 unique visitors, replaceable branding, six teammate accounts, nine sub user accounts, and you also get the white label sub account payment portal. So in that sense, oh, also the C name. That's really important. C name means you can use your own custom domain, so you don't have to actually log into Influence to actually view the account. So you can have your own sub domain not possible in evidence as of now we don't know if they're going to re remove or change a little bit the plan but as of now code wise i think influence gives you way more now let's head on over to the actual platform let's see how they uh, behave so this is the evidence platform and this is how you're going to be greeted welcome to the setup Whoa. wizard wait up man all right so this is the the welcome platform i think the ui is a little bit more nicer a little bit more thought out i think it's it's better on the influence part this is the 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 landing page right this is the dashboard that you're going to be greeted with and you got analytics i think it's a little bit more out of date ui but that doesn't mean it's worse it's just give or take right now let's actually create a campaign so we can see the power of one with the other now evidence says they have a bit more customization on the social proof widget than other platforms so let's see if that's true let's head over to campaigns click on this little plus one let's click on plus we're going to call this testing we're going to create it and we're going to create a notification so let's click on that and let's call this one test one oh test one and this is the type of notification that I'm going to use. So you got conversions, streaks, offers, visitor count, and announcements. So each one differs a bit and differs on the options. I think the best one to show you what it's capable of would be conversions. So let's click on create. And this is what you're going to be graded with. So where is this going to grab the source from? As of now, everything is the same, right? Um, Influence has the same deal right now. So you can, you can grab sources from anywhere also. You got use a uh, create a new one or use existing. So let's just test brand new one. And it could be you can add a short description. You can add it from a web so web form submission or a web hook. So a web hook would mean anything that sends out a web hook, you can grab it. So that means WordPress can send out a web hook from a cell you made from WooCommerce, and that's gonna capture it and you can display it. So it's a web form submission in this case. All right, let's grab a ballot URL. So in this case, I'm going to grab a contact form I have, and I'll just put it here. So it's going to check it out. Let's wait for that to check. 
Also, we have to install the pixel on both of them on the side for actual for actually to work. So in a sense, right now there's nothing different. Everything is the same on both. All right, so there it is. It's grabbing the web form information from here. So you can see this web form. I'm using WP Fluid Forms here. So you gotta check that out. And so it's gonna grab it. So it's gonna select this one because I want these fields. So it's got all that information. And I can use these as the web hook, all right? All right, so let's close that up now. Now let's head on over to design. Now here in design is where I tell you that it's a little bit more uh, customizable than the other ones. So for example, on image. Image, you got one, two, three, and four option. What does this mean? That means, first off, it's gonna use a gravatar, all right? So if your email account that it's associated with the, Im the information that it pulled has a gravatar, it's gonna use it. If it doesn't have a gravatar, it's gonna use its IP address. So it's gonna show in a map where they are located from, right? And if not, you can, if those are not met, then it's going to show a static image. So if none of those are met, we can use like this little fire image, right? And you can use a dynamic one. If you want to move these around, so let's just say, hey, you know what? First off, show the map. All right. And if it doesn't have an IP, then use a gravatar. If it doesn't have the gravatar, use a static image, so on and so forth. If you don't want to use none of those, just put the static image in the beginning. So that means it's going to use a static image by default. All right, let's keep the Gravatar at the first one. That's how I like it, okay? Next thing customization is the shape. So you can change the shape right here. You got all these shapes available. You got the size, maybe that's too big. You wanna show a little bit smaller. You can add shadow to it. So offset a little bit more. See all these? Just moving around. Doesn't mean it's gonna look nice. It's just showing you what it's capable of. Background. You can change the background on that. That looks nasty, but you can do it. Uh, you can change the border radius. See the thickness, the color. You want to do it red. Maybe your branding is red, so you change red. You got some animation. You got fade in. So scale in, pop in. Let's wait for that to load. Pop in, pop out. Let's use pop in, right? And fade out. You got the footer information right here. In this case, it's green. We can replace it because this is a one code app sumo, but just showing you what it's capable of. Also, what I like about this, one of my favorite parts is that you can actually edit it right here. So it's a visual editor. So let's just say someone from the city, let's say someone from, from the country, oops, country, region, blah, blah, blah. And you can edit just right from here. Newsletter, let's put exclamation mark. This I can't edit, but I like how you can do that visual editor. And you got bold, italic, underline, change that, use a link. Every time it's like updating, that's why. You can change the font color, you can underline it and do all that good stuff. Right now it's not activated yet and let's head over to the settings. So in settings, you can use all these options available. I'm just gonna go through them really quickly because we're gonna head on over to influence and show you what the widget creator looks like. So you guys showed time as recently, so seven days, display conversion in random order. So that means it's gonna show, for example, someone in seven days, um, logged in and it's also going to show someone in 50 seconds logged in someone yesterday logged in someone in 30 days so it's going to be all random it's going to be all day if you remove this it's going to go how it goes right it's like someone in one day someone in two days someone in three days or depending how you're going to set it up ignore conversions older than 15 days so if you have a small amount of conversions then like put this up to 60 days if you have a whole bunch of conversions that you can use seven days or just whatever you want to use maximum conversion to display 15 or more Depends how many you want to show. You can do that there. Just maybe go lower. Lowest you can go is 10. Hide the notification from the owner. So that means if the person who, who signs up or purchases or whatever he does, you don't want to show his sign-up form there, like the pop-up from him, like his Gravatar and the information just signed up, then you can remove that. So you can sh not show it to him. I think you should because you want to be transparent. But if you don't want to do it, you can remove that. And you got the, the filters. You can use these filters. For example, if first name, so like if the first name contains, uh, or let's just say starts with a J, it's going to do something else, right? So it's a if then, then that, then it's going to do it, right? So that's those are the customization, customizable things you can do. Next thing is display. So you want to show it on all pages or selected pages. Um, same thing you can do with influence. So you can do this. Select a certain page or just show it on all of them. In this case, just keep it like that. 
more options you got bottom left bottom right it's just bottom right on mobile bottom top bottom do you want to loop notifications so that means if you have three notifications and they show up if it loops it's going to show again the three notifications I personally don't like it, but it's available. For example, I would turn it off, but if you want, you can keep it and you got all these options available. So high notifications on mobile, mobile, high notifications on desktop, or just however you want to use that. For example, I'll remove it. Timing, wait five seconds before showing first notification. So you don't want to be like too intrusive. So you want to like give it some time, seconds or more. It just depends how much. Randomized delay between notifications, wait 10 seconds, display each notification seven seconds. And the advanced the move boomerang tap, if you want to use that also not sure what it is but i'll figure it out launch so do we want to launch it publish it we can activate it or not we can activate that and let's just grab this pixel this is where you would get your pixel so you can install it on your website so now let's head on over to influence and see what is capable with its widgets so let's add a brand new campaign we're gonna hit this little plus button we're gonna say you know what this is testing all right, and the domain, we'll use the same one, SASM, and create. So let's just see how capable is Influence with its settings. So you, by default, these are the ones that it has available. So you got show total signups, show com recent conversions, show live page views, customer reviews, and these are coming soon, which is custom content and push notifications. Now, heads up, this has been a while since it's been on, like, coming soon, so it's taking a bit. So check that out. That's, that's something you got to be aware of. So, all right, so I'm going to head on over to the signups one. So we kind of compare apples with apples, right? So let's head on over to configure. And I'm noting a little bit of shake in here. Um, but I've noticed this with my Chrome. I think it's a Chrome extension that's causing this. So heads up. I'm going to open Safari for this. Check out sign up. We're going to configure. And these are the settings that we have available. So you got the notification type. So you got default, lamb list, or streaming. In this case, we'll keep it in all. The version, there's 1.0 and 2.0. Now, it just changes a bit. Not sure if it's a whole lot. But you can check that out. Version 2.0 has the, the information on the days and the, the branding right here. That if I use my own branding, that's pretty cool. But if I don't want to use branding, then that's okay. I'll keep it at 2.0 right now. Notification size, notice we don't have that size uh, shape like we have on evidence where you can do it big or small with like a slider. In this case, you got default and you got large. So those are the two options that you have. And then you have radius. See that? It's going round or square. So those are the options to view this type of notifications. You got background color. You got display icon. In this case, you can't display like the avatar or the, or the place. It's just one single one, all right? Next we got is textile, so you got only bold available. In the other case, we got italic, we got underlined, we got different uh, colors. In this case, we can change color, but we got like, like what do you call it, like highlighter color also. These are the type of fonts available, so it's only three fonts. In the other one, it's about like 10, 15 fonts I saw about. So it's those little things that I tell you that's a bit more customizable in, ev in evidence, yeah. Brand name, you can put our own. You can put your own brand name. Signed up for in last, so that means this is what it's edible, right? So you got signed up, and it's gonna say in the last. So you can say in last five days. So remember, in evidence, we have the the visual editor where I actually click on on the not notification, and we can edit it right from it. I think it's a, it's way more easier because you know that's what you're editing. So in this case, you're not able to do that. All right, next thing we got to display bulk data from the last five days, hours, and you can just put whatever you want. In the other sense, in evidence, you got that slider, but you can actually customize how long. So I think it was like 60 days the data can pull from. In this case, you can put whatever days you want. A bulk label, in this case, it says days. That's this right here, days. But if you want to use something else, you can put it there. And you can put text, so it's by influence in this case we got the custom customizable branding now it's not fair to compare this because i don't have the version where you can customize a brand over there but it's available right notification that's clickable so if i click on it it goes to that link all right just save that and the rest of the settings for this we're not finished it's over here so we head on over to settings and you can set the animation style to fade, bounce, slide, zoom you got more animations on evidence remember that where we got that selected ones you got high notifications on mobile, loop notifications. We talked about that if you wanted to loop. Randomized delay between notifications, so you want to random the, those. 
allow users to close notification so if you want like hey just stop you can hit that x button enable users to consent i didn't see that option on evidence Initial delay, we have that. Display time each notification, we have that. Delay between sequence notifications, got that. Select position of the pop-up, so you got left or right. On inflow, on evidence, we can choose top or bottom. In this one, we can't. You can display a default country if you want to choose that. Display conversions only from this country. So maybe your country is just in, your, your business is only on one country, so maybe you just want to keep it in one. That could be it. Next thing is the capture leads. So this is where it's going to capture the information from. Remember, we chose over there. We wanted to choose from the contact page. So we do the same here. We have from the contact page. Now, something that's not available yet on evidence is Zapier. Zapier is uh, on, it's on development, but it's not yet there. It's not there yet. They only have web hooks. So in this case, Zapier is already available. So you can integrate using Zapier. With Zapier, you can do anything. You can also do it with web hooks also, but Zapier is already available. You got web hooks, so you got these web hooks already available right here, or just custom web hook, whatever you want there. Next thing is the apps, so you got these apps available. Um, these connect directly to them, so let's just do uh, an example right here. So if I click on Shopify, and you can enter a Shopify store right here, check installation frequency, ask questions, uh, mail or light. I want to grab one. Okay, so see there is the API key and the group ID, and for example, Mailchimp. All right, so it's it's actually asking for that webhook from Mailchimp, so it directly integrates with them. So that's that's something I like more in influence than in evidence. Display, you got it right here. So how do you want it to display? In what pages? Also, you can add or exclude or run on all pages, like we had the same option with evidence. All right, you can only you already have one campaign. All right, that's that's about that one. All right. So let's head on over now to the other information I have for you guys. Now we have the roadmaps of both of them, all right? So this is the roadmap for evidence. Now they've been, they're barely going to launch on AppSumo. So there's not a whole lot going on right here. These are the completed ones. These are in progress. And as you can see right there, Zapier is barely planned. So it's not there yet, but it's already available in evidence. So if that's something like a game changer for you, keep influence. If not, or if you're willing to wait and you are you don't need it yet, well, this could be a good one for you, right? Just wait for Zapier if that's something you need. And these are other integrations that they're considering yet. Considering. So it's not available yet. So you got social mentions, inventory, internal... All, all these ones and they said that they're gonna add more uh, pop-up styles right so I, I asked if they're gonna add like video pop-ups and they will be adding them and this is about the roadmap right so you got that information and on influence side you got all this going on so feature requests you got these ones that are in testing so Facebook integration direct Facebook uh, pipe drive integration these are completed work in progress they got aptic check of Heasy things to do so you see there's a lot more going on on influence maybe because they already been on AppSumo and they know what the feedback is and they know what they have to do next and I think evidence is still going to check to see what people are going to ask for so check out what they need and the, what they're going to integrate the AppSumo integrations that they have available they're going to add looks like it so people are voting on this and you got feature request over here so you can see there's more work done uh, over here because they've been more time on AppSumo. Next thing I have to show you is something that Evidence created. So it's Evidence versus Influence. So they made this little nice table, but I got to give you a heads up. I mean, this is what they say they're good at. Um, I've, I'm sure if Influence made a, a versus, they probably do a little bit better. I mean, they're just going to show off what's better, but I'm going to show you really quick what they do, all right? So support, support three-party integrations, so both of them. Hot streak notifications, white label, sub-accounts, advanced notification design, all plans included, all features, yes. Prioritize notification type. So remember we, show, we showed you about the photo where you can, show, you can see the avatar or the, uh, the country referring to the IP address or just an avatar. That's not available on, on Influence. Boomerang tabs, that's not available. So it pull visitor back. To your, oh, okay, now I remember what Boomerang is. That's really, really cool. So what Boomerang does is when you see this tab on the top, if you remo you move to away to another uh, website, the, the bottom, the top tab is going to start scrolling, and it's going to give you the, the social proof up there. So it makes you want to click on it. 
add any merge field so create unlimited custom merge fields that's available here us based customer service so support now what they say is that they are us based so i mean if you're in the us and you think that's a good thing and you want to support us uh, companies well they're us based but if you're like hey you know what let's help out these other guys they're from another country i think they're from india um, he's, a, he's a pretty cool guy from the guy from influence. So if they're okay, you know what? Let's help out third world countries, right? And I mean, it just depends what you want to do, right? So maybe you're like a U.S. guy and you want to support only U.S. That would be the the one for you. Notification Earl verification. So that's available there. Gravatar images. So that goes with this one with this prioritized notification type. Image notification prioritization. Choose feed what? Choose fallback image source. Yeah, that's the fallback source. And free trial, 14 days versus seven days. So that's something they cooked up there. Like I said, they're gonna show off what works better for them. So in a sense, I think both are really similar. It turns out that evidence has a little bit more tweaks with the widget. I'm not sure if that's a game changer for someone. At the end of the day, it's still social proof. Do you, do you want it to look a little bit nicer? Then evidence is good. If you want a little bit more like worked out, more advanced, and they've had more time working with this, then I guess influence would the, be the one for you. But then we go with the codes, with the pricing. We got both prices right here. And I think influence gives you more than what evidence does. I mean, especially, especially since these are not unique visitors. This might change once people start like saying, hey, you know what? Those are not unique visitors and you need to change that. So that might change there. And I hate this, um, the evidence of, of branding right here. So on the first code, you don't get removable branding, but you do get it on influence. And the other game changer is the replaceable branding that's in the second code. And on the third one, I mean, you just go all out. I mean, you got the branding control, you got the C name redirection. So you got white label that you don't get in evidence. You get the white label sub accounts. So that's really, really much better in, in a sense than the other one. Even though, I mean, white label with 150,000 visits, it's not a whole lot. But you got the options to just go all out, like 10 right here. And you got all of this available. On this one, if we go all out to 10, it's just going to multiply. So you still don't get white label and you don't get C name, but you do get it over there. So it just depends what you want to do, right? Remember, I think Influence, if you bought it recently, you got that refund period. If so, if you think evidence is better, you can do the switch. And if you think evidence is better, well, you could grab that one. All right, guys, both links for the deals, for the roadmaps, and the information I provided will be in the description. I will not be doing a show off of how the widgets look in the website because that's pretty straightforward. And I mean, that's obvious. And you're going to see that even on the page. You can see right here what they look like. Oh, about right here. Yeah, you can see right there. We can saw the we saw the examples also how they look like. So that's not something that's that's worth spending time on it. So you saw the verses of evidence versus influence. You guys decide. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SASMaster. I'll see you guys later.